Sagittarius, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we're going to read in for you for this period where not a single planet is in retrograde. So all planets are direct. Uh, we're still in the sort of shadow period of the Mercury retrograde, but we're coming out of that soon. So this period is from the February the 21st to April the 28th. And it gives us a good opportunity to really go forward and direct, you know, leaving old outdated ways of being, doing, reacting, people, places, you know, leaving them behind and really marching forward in the direction that we truly mean to go. Um, however, if we look at the zodiac like a calendar, we're not quite at the end of the year yet. We're in the 12th house of Pisces, not quite at the first house um, as we shift into Aries in a few weeks' time. So do anticipate the next two or three weeks for something to try and, something that you're desperate to leave behind to tug at you a little bit and try and uh, make you rethink. But uh, it's a perfect opportunity to... Uh, um, see it coming before and acknowledge sidestep and uh, continue your growth moving forward and um, so we'll see what's coming up for you we'll do my version of a Celtic cross we'll clarify and get a message out there it's not going to resonate for every single Sagittarius so do check out your replacements your moon rising Venus any stellium you have in your chart even your north and south nodes can prove uh, insightful once again thank you for the like share subscribes comments everything continues the growth much appreciated and um, private reads are available. Description box has all the details. Okay, Sagittarius. Three more. The Knight of Pentacles. Okay, could be career. Could be an offer of financial aid um, can be enough for a commitment as well you know this Knight of Pentacles slow moving but it's uh, dependable crossing your root of the matter recent past what you want what's coming in how you see yourself how others see you Advice and potential outcome. Beautiful. The ask and you shall receive is uh, is basically the uh, message here. Um, be open to abundance. Ask and you shall receive. Ask the universe. Ask the universe exactly what you need. To, to, to sustain you on your journey um, could be communi there's a need there's a balance now with the masculine and feminine energies here um, I kind of think it's all coming to a fruition it's not quite in balance yet we've got the knight of cups the lovers and the three of cups ok could be an offer of love coming in some type of reunion with the Three of Cups here. Something you don't see coming. Kind of feel like deep down you know it's coming. With the Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands here. So there's love coming in. Maybe an offer of love. Or an offer of commitment with this Knight of Pentacles. I kind of feel like this Knight of Pentacles is indicating your path and the message is clear here ask and you shall receive it's going to be the title I think um, so we've got the Knight of Pentacles it's kind of a journey what's crossing you is you temperance Sagittarius energy um, so you're crossing you it's also kind of balance balancing the yin and the yang that balance is coming it's coming in the outcome root of the matter is the Knight of Swords you could have run away from the situation in the past because we've got three knights here now we've got the knight of pentacles, one knight of swords and we've got the knight of cups on the bottom of the deck so something could have come in possibly a divine masculine and then run away again because the recent past is the divine masculine, the emperor this could have been your energies, we all have masculine and feminine energies um, this could have been in the past you were 
in receipt of your divine masculine power. Uh, maybe it kind of eluded to a certain degree. Um, and now that needs to come into balance. I kind of see this as both things. I kind of feel this is a person as well, a divine masculine energy. And again, like I said, don't get caught up in genders, we all have masculine feminine energies. Um, they could have ran away. Or you could have. Depending on how it fits. What you want is peace. Four of Swords. You want to heal. You want to heal your heart as well. So there's obviously been disappointments in the past in regards to love. You know, perhaps you don't think about love anymore. You're not uh, not concerned about it. You're happy to leave your um, heart on the side and continue healing in other aspects. What's coming in though is the world. It's a completing of cycles. In other decks, this is the universe. So this is where I'm here in the universe. Uh, asking you shall receive <laughs> how you see yourself is judgment it's good you've heard your calling you've um, answered your guides you see yourself in that as your higher self now which is good um, yeah you can follow in your calling in the rider way it's, it's, um, it's the archangel sounding his trumpet um, this is what's happened with you you've heard You've heard the call and you've stepped up. How others see you is the tower. And I'm taking this more as power. So I can kind of feel like you're quite a powerful person. Could be possibly fiery, I mean you are a fire sign, but probably possibly erratic at times. You know, the tower is chaos. Um, but there's an element of power to this. Your advice is the Ace of Pentacles. And again, here with the universe, I'm just getting, ask and you shall receive. The hands are out ready. Hands are out ready to give. Hands are out ready to, to receive. And the outcome is the Ace of Swords. This is that speaking the truth. You've asked. Now it's time to receive. The Empress. This is you in your power, ready for abundance. And the Six of Pentacles. There's that balance. That equal give and take. The rewards for charitable work however you want to put it it's rewards for your selflessness uh, everything that you've done for others in the past is now reaping its rewards but all you need to do is ask you know the universe wants specifics what do you need what is it you need you know you're on a path spiritual journey possibly you're on a path, the universe is asking you now, okay, for you to complete this mission, what do you need? Ask and you shall receive. Interesting, such. an element here as well, speaking your truth brings balance. The Emperor on the deck with a page of swords and the four of cups. The Emperor's watching you. Uh, he thinks, and I'm saying he again, but this is Divine Masculine, I'm just reading here, we all have it. Um, they think it's um, a missed opportunity, is this? 
However, I don't think it is. The Ace of Pentacles is still lingering uh, in the background. So, the Knight of Pentacles clarified by the Seven of Swords. So, there could be some sort of deceit um, in the air around you, um, possibly at work uh, with the Knight of Pentacles here. I kind of also see this as possibly the Divine Masculine, because the Seven of Swords can be a kind of strategizing. This could be a strategizing of, a, of, a, of an approach towards you. Crossing you is the Temperance with the Tower. So this, this Tower, this Power. You don't realise how much power you have. That's the thing, Sag. You don't realise how much power you have. I will see you is that tower. What's crossing you is you. As that tower. I said people saw you as power. You, you, I don't think you realise how much power you've got. How much connection with the universe you've got. I almost feel like if you speak it, you, you literally shall receive. The root of the matter is the Knight of Swords with the Moon. These Moon cycles are speeding up, they're coming to a culmination. Um, so we've had like a certain amount at at 23 degrees. You could be seeing 23 a lot, um, and that comes to an end in this new Moon in um, in Pisces. This could be all about new beginnings with you in that period. Recent past is the Emperor with the Two of Pentacles. So this person may have been emotionally out of balance, possibly, this Divine Masculine. Um, I'm not particularly getting bipolar or anything like that to a certain degree, but um, you almost felt like they were two different people in the past. What you want is the Four of Swords with the Ace of Wands. So you've got some sort of creative path, creative abilities, and you kind of, I kind of feel like you just need space and peace to be able to do this. And I kind of feel like that space and peace is possibly the material world. You need an area you can do it. So you need a home. You need the material base. You need the f funds to pay your bills. Because as much as we love being on a spiritual journey, the bills still need paying. Um, so I kind of feel like you just need a bit of peace, breathing space. Did I say that to you last time? I might have done. What's coming in is the world, the universe, with the four of pentacles. They're going to provide that stability. The universe is going to provide you the sp stability that you need. Um, and all it takes is for you to say exactly what you need, what you want. How you see yourself is judgment with a hermit. You see your higher self, you see your wiser self. You shine in your light for others to follow. How others see you is the tower with the page of pentacles. You're very, very gifted, very studious. Um, You could have gone through a major transformation, like a shocking transformation. The Page of Pentacles is a kind of reinvention. You could have gone through a major reinvention. People from your past don't recognise you anymore. There's been big changes. You may have changed your, your look, your wardrobe, however it is, but I think this is more in-depth in personality. Not necessarily personality, but just really possibly outlook, possibly your path that you're on. Uh, there's just been an unrecognisable transformation in some way. Your advice is the Ace of Pentacles with the Knight of Swords. Take action on speaking your truth. Take action on telling the universe exactly the beginning that you want. So I mean, we've got Ace of Pentacles, we've got the Ace of Wands and we've got the Ace of Swords. Brilliant. And we've got the Ace of Pentacles twice, haven't we? Yeah. 
S, 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 S. Four S's all over the place. The outcome is the Ace of Swords, the Empress and the Six of Pentacles, clarified by the Nine of Cups, the Six of Swords, and Judgment. You are getting rewarded for all your work. You are getting rewarded for all the help that you give to others. You're rewarded for all the light that you're shining for others. It's going to be a wish fulfillment. If you're looking to move and find a home to find that peace that you're after, it is coming. Hear the call, sound the trumpet, ask, and you shall receive. Okay, Saj, beautiful reading. Um, you've got more power than you know. Speak your truth to the universe. You know, everything is vibration, money is vibration. If you need it to continue on your path, you need to set that vibration, you know. Act in the process, it's already here. You know, continue your path of helping others, charitable work if you do it. If you don't do it, look into charitable work. Um, I mean, it doesn't have to be donating money, it can be just donating time or donating gifts, projects, you know, art, anything. Um, but there's just an ability here to uh, really raise your vibration and when you're at the peak of your vibration which clearly you are ask and you shall receive okay you could be dealing with or having your chart such we have Scorpio we have Libra we have Taurus Aries Virgo Cancer Pisces fellow Sagittarius could be dealing with Capricorn Aries again Gemini. But we've got swords, we've got wands, we've got pentacles, and we've got cups. Everybody's here, we'll see standouts. Okay, Saj. Um, yeah, keep going. I don't know what's going to try and pull you back. Possibly this past person might take you by surprise with a shock coming in. Um, I don't see any negativity around them, to be honest. Maybe they're being a bit sneaky in their approach, but other than that, I don't see anything untoward too much. Step into your power. Okay. Let me know if it resonates. Um, thank you for following the channel. I'll see you soon.